So we're here back with our siege of Prague. And so far everything's going good. Only that our clergy did not approve so much. Wait a second, I just see something here. I still have a prison. Let me out of this dungeon. I am wounded. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. I can execute him. That will increase my crown authority. I'll get gold. Peasants reduce. Clerics of him might reduce. Might increase. Hmm, what's the other options? I'm not going to do that. I don't want to. My crown authority is already pretty low. So I don't want to do that. Don't want to anger the nobility either. Huh. No, I'm not going to do that. The only thing is really I can do that. Our crown authority has increased. Our opinion with the peasantry has taken a hit. Our clergy's opinion has worsened. Well, that's bad, but... I can actually increase our crown authority again, so let's do that. We have increased our crown authority, my lord. So, that's a good deal. Burn food reserves, can you do it? 70% chance, look at that. Let's try it. We got lots of money actually right now. <laughs> yes. And look what he can do. Send clerics. Because our kingdom piety will increase. That's good too. We'll try it. I am happy to report that your orders were executed, sir. So the spies succeeded. So their food reserves went way down. Look at that. They don't have any more food. So it actually pays off to have finally some abled man here leveled up clerics and spies and so on i do have 600 books again that means i can actually level up some more people like for example one of our merchants tomorrow will be richer look you got trading one let's give him trading two or stewardship actually pretty good too A very wise investment. So that increased our gold income by five just by leveling up this one guy. Where's all of our... We actually I just see we're here at the cap of our kingdom levers. Okay, I didn't realize. We even make a small profit from our capability to trade and equip more soldiers than we need so that's what those some every once in a while a little gold coin shows up be, beneath those signs up here and that just means through your access resources you actually make a little profit which is kind of neat and we can expand trade because we got enough commerce that's why i tell you over and over always have enough access um, commerce Let's expand our trade with Hungary. Fortune favors the bold. My lord, our siege has been interrupted. What are you talking about? They're trying to break our siege. Okay, and now? Soon we will breach their defenses. So now I have to basically fight it. Is that what they're trying to tell me? The enemy stands no chance. Well, let's fight him then. Yeah, sure, they didn't have any more food. So they are breaking out because they can even either die by the sword or starve to death. That's the only two chances they have. The enemy is leaving the stronghold to break our siege. Behold the stronghold of the enemy. Focus so that's, your offense on these gates. Sure, because the that's where it's fortified out. by towers. Okay, well that's pretty nice. So I can just let my men line. await your orders. At the ready. My men await your orders. My life is precious. Let's go. 
It looks safe. Let's wreak havoc. Move out! March on! Hurry up! Move! My men await your orders. Our blades are sharpened. Awaiting target! Move out! Our blades are sharpened. Move! Prepare to ride, men. Where are they all coming out? At right. This gate right here where they're coming out, actually. Our blades are sharpened. At the ready. Move out! Awaiting orders. At the ready. Get close to the enemy. Okay. My men await your orders. So they're coming all out this this door right here. At the ready. March on! They will leave their holes now. Awaiting target! Ready to fight! Crossbowmen! Ready! Move out! I'm in charge here! I must be well protected. At the ready! My men await your orders. At the ready! My men await your orders. Our blades are sharpened. At the ready! My men await your orders. Ready. Man. My men await your orders. Bowmen ready! Shoot the target! Ready to fight! Horsemen! On the double! I must be well protected. They are shooting at us! Well, they do have their at the ready. advantage of their We're under attack! Towers. That's for sure. My men await your orders. Show me your heels! Our men are running away. Prepare to ride, men. Right here, to victory! Gallop, men! We are on our way. Run, run, run! They're running away! Watch out! They are flanking us! My men await your orders. At the ready. You guys doing back here Move still? Out. Our blades are sharpened. March on! All is lost! There you go. At the ready. Infantry, attack! Show me your heels! Our squad is fleeing. Ha! The weaklings have run away! Okay, they're gone, so let's charge back in here. At the ready. Awaiting and take orders. back out again because they're hell of a deal. Our blades are get... sharpened. Infantry, attack! To arms! I must be well protected. Horsemen, on the double! Face their cavalry! Some of our soldiers have fled, sire. Prepare to ride, men. Our leader is under attack. Awaiting orders. Oh, so I believe Show they only have heels. one general in there, Blood yes. And, and steel. If we kill him, maybe it's they all over. They are shooting <clears throat> at us. Our blades are sharpened. You go behind him so he can't run away. There you go. Get close to the enemy. Hurry up. Victory is yeah. ours. We've slain the enemy leader. So that was it. We killed their leader and now they're Splendid gone. Splendid work, sire. We've won our war. Sire, we've conquered another province. Sire, we've pleased our nobility. So our nobility is pleased now. So the only one we have to... Please now really merchants is. in our kingdom applaud our actions sire. the clergy that and was the peasants. a fine day for trading okay good 
Let's see how he does in his mission. My humble mission was successful. Very good. He strengthened our piety. We got 600 now. Awesome. And now there's another mission available for him. 68% chance, which gives a, uh, increased the uh, opinion of our clergy. So that's something we definitely want to do. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Matter of fact, can I level him up before I do that? He has learning, he has rhetoric, and writing wouldn't be bad for him either. So let's give him that. Praise you for trusting in me. A blessed day. And now he got a 70% chance. So let's. I've prayed for such a mission. Good deal. So, and afterwards, I mean, our, our soldiers this time, they really took some damage. So our other army went over here, so we can refill them. Consider it done, sire. This is a good strategy. Matter of fact, now I'm going to just swap out sire, armies. We've spotted mercenaries camping in our lands. We don't need those. Thank you. So now we got money we need. Down here, I want to... Upgrade this or unlock this and now I can go ahead and build a silversmith and a gold smelting. So that's definitely what I want to get. It's expensive, but it's very profitable as well. How are we anyway with our goods so far? The kingdom advantages, sire. We only have meat, we have barrels, we have this. Yeah, we have a long ways to go still yet. My lord, a marriage proposal has come our way. My mission was not meant to be. Oh, you cleric, 70% chance and you still failed. Oh, you can confide those in me. people. So let's do... We don't have enough... Oh, okay. Well, don't do nothing then. Can I level up somebody? Any new deals? Yeah, okay, let's give him stewardship. Look, that gives us time three in villages. My humble skills are improving. Savoy offers marriage. See, and that's exactly one thing I don't want to do anymore, guys, because you remember last time my king died and then they they took over or they claimed Constance because my daughter was in their lands and that gives them kind of a right, a claim on one of my lands. So I don't, I'm not going to do that anymore. Nope. Especially at my firstborn. He wanted my firstborn. Behold, the current great powers. Okay, we're actually the mightiest nation too. That's good. Your wisest of rulers and his king. See, that's princess is reading. See, I don't care about, let's for example, her. I could marry her off. All of these, but I think she's the oldest. Too bad I can't see more about those characters nowhere. How old they are and everything you can't... Oh, it says juvenile here. Okay, that's the only thing I know about her. She's a juvenile. But I think she's first here, so she's the oldest. So I don't want to marry her off. Yeah, that's, and it usually says heir. I don't know who would be. 
Yeah, that's we'll see what happens. He's an adult. Let's see what happens when he dies. It'll be interesting. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. Political view. So Austria is fighting rebels, looks like. They're still here on the move. Is Austria at war with anybody? Enemies Croatia and Ragusa. What about Genoa? Unfortunately, they have papal states as France, so I don't want to. I'd love to attack them. But if I do. Then the papal states, they might actually excommunicate me. That's a very strong chance for that to happen. No. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. That's right. What is your command? You go over here. May the light guide your way. Only 58% chance you'd have in here. 40% chance. So, Phil, you guys back up. At once. So if you feel sell these guys the back new up, building has been finished, sire. A foreign kingdom wishes to arrange marriage. If you fill these guys back up, it takes resources, food from here. It takes manpower from here, and it takes manpower from the kingdom levers up here. Brandenburg offers marriage. Who? Okay, that's the little girl. Let's do that. I don't care so much about the little one. Princess Helinda. And Brandenburg, let's see, Brandenburg's got allies, got friends, enemies, Poland. Then again, I don't know if I want to do it with Brandenburg. The world at your fingertips. The world at your fingertips. Kinship. Let me think. Let me, maybe I can, I guess I can't do, have no marriage here with those guys. Oh, they finally did it. Look at that. We have a non-aggression pact with Hungary now. Very good. And look, our, our friendship it goes farther and farther up. So we are one big, um, yeah, well, kingdom now. They're friends with papal states as well. Austria actually would also be a good target for us. Naples is France. Okay, what about France actually? We don't care about France. They're friendly with us. Maybe we can have a marriage with those guys. No, can't have it. We still have marriage, I believe, with those English people. Uh, but we can marry, so let's try that. Helinda. His Excellency, the King, Excellency. and his most noble family. Which would be her. We could marry off her, for example. To the King. Okay, that's good. We don't care about the creations. Serbians are pleased. Papal states are pleased. Very good. 
Polish are pleased. Austrians are pleased. Okay, that was good. So, let's go back to our... Okay, they are... See, no important relatives, no brothers, nobody. I really... Oh, okay, wait a second. What does this crown here mean? See the different types of crowns up here? I wonder who my heir is. I really have no idea who my heir is. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. The world at your fingertips. So what else can we build? Let's build some irrigation crop farms here. Let's build tanners, they give us leather. And leather gives us squat defense. Let the sun always shine on you. So we can try to do that too now. It gives we have bad chance really, but still have to try it. Only fifty-eight percent chance. And as you a recall, splendid idea. We have erected a new chance. building, sire. With these guys, it's like twenty percent. Crop farm is finished. Hmm. No, we don't care about the Venice anyways right now. Political view. So who could be a potential target for us later on? Look at look at Croatia. They don't have any friends. They have one little bitty ally here. But unfortunately they are friends with the Papal States. But that of course we don't want to really want a kingdom way back or provinces way back here. Our goal is really to join our kingdom together have one joining big kingdom so really only Austria which which theoretically already is part of our kingdom the world at your fingertips because they are our va vassals so really we do all already have one joining kingdom if you look at it this way because those are all our vassals right here what about no we don't want Denmark so really with Austria being our vassals, we do have one joining kingdom already. So we could expand over this way, but they're very close trading partners of us. It's also our vassal, by the way. We could attack these guys, but they have lots of friends. Flanders has lots of friends. That's England. Yeah, we just have to, in order to complete our mission in Peasant Rush, we have to get 25 provinces under our control. Hmm. So, where are they going to be? I don't know. They still got a crusade going against Lithuania, by the way. But it's way up east. I mean, it's so far east. Look at that. It's so far away from us. Disorder has ceased in one of our provinces. A new upgrade has been completed, sire. 
Oh, he actually made it, huh? Let's pray. That is very good. Where's Prague at? Here, right here. Very good. And we already have housing, we have woodworking, and we have barracks. We have charcoal as well. Which we already have in, also have in Worms. And we have here timber, which we also have in Worms. Okay, very good. Food stocks are building up. So what happened here? Oh, now we're top again. We have Listen. received a diplomatic message. Crusader armies were defeated in battle. Increase their opinion. Let's try to do that again. 70% chance. If that is your will. Crusader defeated. So, everybody's against it anyways. Most of the people, two, three, four, five, are against it. And three are in favor. Yeah, we're not going to attack Lorraine. Yeah, that's really stupid if you think about it. Anyways, like I said, they're our vassals. Why would we attack our vassals, Dave? You know what I mean? Shouldn't even be an option that we could attack them. Our last, unless we benevolently grant their independence or to unrighteously claim it, we will have receive a percentage of their gold income, fame, and they will be more willing to support us. However, they will expect protection from us as well. Okay, so we do apparently get gold from those guys, even though I, I can't. Our gold, sire. Our gold. Finally, I see it. That's where you do see it. Base income. Primes' trade taxes. Vassal's tribute, 15%. Now, look at that. We get 14.4 gold from Lorraine. Okay, now we got it. So, I'm not gonna attack Lorraine. Man, look at us, they give us 2700 bucks. But no, that would be a, not a good move to do, to attack our vassals for no reason. Especially since they're giving us money, we're making 615 gold now. That is awesome. So, what we're gonna do with all that gold? We're gonna build some more, of course. Let's get some docks going. Gives us again more commerce. We'll need more commerce to expand our trade. Our clergy opinion our has clergy. improved. Very good. He actually did successfully finish his mission. Let's build a salt trade here. We already have two, but that's very good building. So we get another one going. What can we get here? We're going to get oh, produce some more goods, raisins, get more food, more commerce. So let's do this. Actually, could also population growth. That's probably what affects this here, I guess. A new building has been finished, sire. Sire, we have completed an upgrade. Very good. Our books are lying unused, my lord. Oh, very good. Now we can upgrade a couple more guys. I am ready to trade. Look, this tr this merchant doesn't have any skills yet. We definitely have to. But he doesn't have any bargain. He got this. So let's give him this. Each book read means more profit. How may I serve you? And this is also one of our... 
He got already trading two. Let's give him trading three. It is you who will be rich now. Good, and that in return. Sire, I present to you the royal family. Okay, we need 600 books, then we can get this right here. So let's save up some more books. And then we can get a new tradition. But we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.